last week, we repainted the kitchen cabinets while Dad put together additional cabs. Then we moved the island into place. The log lights were installed. Bryson made tray supports and connected some of the buttons for the desk legs. Stay tuned as we continue on the kitchen addition to the main house and the gaming desks. We're gonna get the drawers primed and ready for paint booth today. Shelves especially and dividers and some other things. Pull out the stuff that I can work on now. Like these cabinet doors. So they're done, right? Yeah, these all, are all, all done. done. So we'll pull all this out. We'll pull that out and then you can set up your new deal. Quite a bit of shelves and stuff. Okay, okay. all right, these go over. I had no idea. You're yelling at me lower, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting lower. <laughs> Randy, you start lower. moving really fast. <laughs> no. I can't keep up with my hands and knees. Okay. <laughs> You're going so low. You guys, okay. This thing is sliding like this. I'm going, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Are, you guys, <laughs> Are you guys okay? <laughs> is this job really a pain in the neck? <laughs> 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 What's up? What's happening today? What's happening? Come here, let's get your car. If you retain the beast, Brie. I did. Are you Gosh. ready? Isn't he excited? All right, are we ready for this? Here we go. Hold up. <gasps> what? What? Oh, oh, feels good. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we can play normally, huh? Is your world brand new now that you have your vision back? All your vision, it's back. I can't imagine it being very easy to see those. What? I think you guys have food. Here we go. Roll, 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 roll. Straight to the food bowl. So last time we left off putting these guys on. We haven't tested it yet. This one in position. Yes. Getting kind of a base measurement for where we want these things to go right here. Square it out a little bit, and we either mark around it or we measure it out. Let's do it. Then the test begins. I had to sit on it, but we got it on. Yay! Yeah. So this is just temporary? For temporary. To put our dishes on? Yep. That'll work. Very good. So we're gonna put a bed on top of this and sleep on it. Excellent. Exactly. You were wondering where mom and dad's room is? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I have a tragedy. These two go together. It has been busted. So now I'm gonna have half one. I'm gonna try it, but I don't expect this to work. What exactly is it? This drills these little holes for my hardware to fit in. And it's kind of special. It only goes so deep. How'd it break? I dropped off the edge. The oh. Drill, the drill fell down. It down went around there? a bit and broke. Sad day. It has this nifty little template that goes with it. Did that come with the bit? Yeah, a little kit. You think? I don't have a lot of hope in it. I don't want to screw it up, so I'm going to be careful. Yeah. Did it work? It worked. Yes! That's a good thing. There's still success on the horizon. Although I feel bad about my bit being broken. I'll just use that one until it's too dull to sharpen and stuff. Okay. Super! Well, good. Our baby island is taking its first step and now has somebody cooking on it for the first time. Right? I hope it feels honored that I'm cooking on its face. Ooh. Bread, mayonnaise, cheese, then you cook an egg. But the secret to making that egg taste phenomenal is Twin One Seasoning Salute to Trader Joe's. 10 out of 10. Uh, sponsored, not at all. Uh, uh, give <laughs> us a call. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at this thing. 
the bottle for. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see, but I'm smiling out of this. Our next little goal here is to put in our sliding drawer in here. I want this to be up here. I'm gonna take and bend this tab back down and I'm gonna cut our little lock mechanism off, which stops it from opening up on a drawer. We have another idea for that. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll figure that out. We actually only have about this much room to move. That's an issue. We're gonna actually cut this end a little shorter. So we're gonna move this whole track forward some, and then that should be able to solve our problem. I took the leftover track that we took off the end of one of these guys and stuck it on there like that. So as this comes out now, it rests on that guy and is stable. Hello little what? bumblebee. I haven't seen one of those little guys in a while. He thought winter was over. Go back to your hive, hibernate. <sighs> It'll snow tomorrow. He he <laughs> oh no, not again. Oh my goodness. Can you guess? Are you enjoying, huh? Are you enjoying the snow? No more. For these, these are good. They did their part for us. Mm -hmm. years. But the new ones are coming. When we first moved out in the property, we had been living in the RV and we wanted to make this a place for us to stay in. Just to get it temporarily while we built the big house, whatever that might be. We're out here quite yeah. a ways. A guy drives up in a truck down our driveway. You were working on the kitchen. You run out to see what it's all about. The guy had 10 feet above his truck were stacked cabinets. We talked with him just a few minutes and then he says, are you interested in buying any cabinets? It's like, Ding. Yeah, like absolutely. He had all the pieces of parts we needed to be able to put this kitchen together the first time. It was funny because you were in here measuring and I walked in and you're like, I can't believe it, Shelly, but yeah. these are the exact measurements down to yep. the corner piece, which I'm sitting on right here. It was just this weird, out of the blue blessing that we were so thankful for. Oh, and it, what cost was like 150 what? bucks. But even then, they weren't exactly the best. But for what purpose we had, yeah. it was just going to be kind of a studio area that we're developing over here to begin with. We didn't know it was going to turn into what it is today. A, a few years down the road, they were getting a lot of use and we thought, let's just put some lipstick on this pig. <laughs> and that's what we did and that's how they got the red. And actually, This is a pig kiss right here with lipstick. Garen was really the main artist behind putting these flowers on when, and he was quite young. It yeah. just helped make the kitchen a little more cheery. We're going to be saying goodbye to our wonderful blessing yeah. and move on to a new blessing. Yes. <laughs> Very excited. Probably just chuck most of them and then. What? We wouldn't have anything to eat out of. Well, that's, that's you know, some of these things I haven't seen in years. What is nice about the, all the new cupboards and stuff is that you don't have to fish through. You mean like cupboards. normal people? Is that what you mean? Normal? Isn't What's that? normal? <laughs> Chip, what are you doing? Chip, what are you doing? Chip, there's. Done with that yet, Chip? So they've left us to put the cupboards together. I was trying to think of a really clever pun, but nothing came to mind. Then do an unclever pun. Okay. We're left to uh, close this door <laughs> so they can open another. <laughs> we are swinging this shut. I think I'm grasping at the end of this cabinet. <laughs> we don't know how to attach this yet. We're doing what we know. We have a strict code of conduct. If we fear we're going to break and or mess something up, we leave that to the people that created it. <laughs> We should start with the small one. Bite it off small. We're gonna need two people on this. We are. Okay, let me put this down. We have a little bit of an issue. Uh oh, what happened? It doesn't line up in there. Oh yeah, that's okay. They are adjustable. They're adjustable, Bray. Right? What do you suppose that means? Can I see uh, the gap also? Right on one thing is to get that equal. So it looks like this one's gotta go down. Probably gotta go up and that's gotta go down just a touch. So you just loosen these up a little bit. One is to make it go this way. And another one that helps it go this way. Well, what do you think? It's good. It's Gucci. It's Gucci! I think you did good.
It's, it's really storage at the moment. Storage, not storage. Yeah. Well, this is obviously not where everything's gonna go because, uh, you know, it's not gonna go there. They're so strong. I'm used to things bowing when you put things in and it's just such a solid cover. And uh, anyway, this is, really? this is really gonna be a lot of fun. I don't think you even noticed the cone is gone. I'm wondering if you can't even see past where the cone was anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> do you got tunnel vision? Question, do you see doubles? He sees double food maybe, but that's about it. <laughs> Oh, does he fit? Yes, have you grown too tall? Here we go. What is that right there? Huh? What is that? It's his little hook. <laughs> so he doesn't fall out. You think that will hold you if you fall out? He's getting big. That's a lot of weight to carry around, I'm not gonna lie. Wipe your feet. Thank you. We're going to put cabinet doors on. We're going to put the hardware in for the shelves. We don't want to work on the hoop barn today because it's cold. We don't do snow. Cool. We barely do rain. <laughs> I am making a snow cone. Anyone want one? I'm going to put apple juice on top of it. I'll pass. I'll pass. But thank you. I'm doing that. I'm doing it. I thought we were never told to eat the yellow snow, Bryson. This is amazing. Does it taste like this is amazing. iced apple juice? Because I'm feeling like it's just the watered down iced apple juice. It is, but it's good. We can put the handle here, so or we, we can put it up here. I've seen it both ways. Well, that's a complicated question. I didn't realize. Bree, you want to come see what you think? I like the middle. So what's the decision? You need to be in the center. No. Symmetrically <laughs> thinking, they need to be in the center <laughs> because it's in the center of here. I see. I think that is even cemented my desire for it to be in the middle more. Yeah? That'd be different. This is really hurting my face, just a little. camera comes out and he immediately goes right to it. Look at you, so photogenic. No more cone of shame. Sure fit, otherwise I gotta make some adjustments to it. Oh, oh, oh. You laying down on the job again? Oh yeah, nothing like a good lay down on the job thing. Are you short on one end there, Gary? <laughs> I don't think he's in a laughing mood. I think you might be high centered, Dad. <laughs> I think you left half of yourself on me. You better go double check. There's a teeter totter joke there, Bree, but I can't come up with it. What is it? He's a teeter father. <laughs> <laughs> it's got sawdust in it. That's us. We have a job to do now, Bree. Vroom, vroom, coming through. It's the vacuum. What have you done? Um, you know, tape measure's got a lot of numbers on there. <laughs> <laughs> is it level? No, it's not. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That is noticeably different though, Bri. I don't want to be mean or nothing. You can notice that. It is you true. Notice it. We got four holes to fix them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Doors, all painted, installed, ready to go. But the fifth door, I don't think I built. Hmm. Oops. Okay, I've got two to do then. This one here and the microwave one. It's all right anyway. Sorry. Right. Who needs doors? They get in the way anyway. We are trying to get everything installed on the inside of these before we put the cap on top of it because it's just easier to access. There's only one dilemma. Here. The problem is I can't install those without the tools. Right. And the two may please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Oh, this is pink. I don't want it. Ooh. Here, take oh. this one. Okay, this is small, but I'll accept. Coming up, I'm emerging like a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Oh, we're just measuring out all the little pieces, and then I guess these are nails that we're putting in here. I will need a hammer then. Just don't want to drop it on your head. Are you sure? Don't tap me. These are going to be the little fee shelf holders. <coughs> we're going to tap them in, and voila! We're just 
putting in the drawer now. Ow. Mm. Tastes like bubble gum. The tracks are on. Whoop, whoop. Better. Good job. These sliding drawers, they're very challenging. We're so happy to have the first one thought through and done, and we're looking forward to the next challenge. So, Dad, what do you think of the desk over here? Nice. What's it just come together so nicely? We are bringing this in because it's too cold. So now these buttons will work nice for the legs. We're gonna work on it further in here. We'll be bringing that progress to you next week. Really struggling with these drawers that are binding and not fitting well. I'm doing all the math according to the instructions, but I'm just struggling. Went to the internet and found, of course, the big secret was these little tabs on the back. You get the system now, Gear? I think so. Here? YouTube. It's about these little tabs on the back. Guy was using them to spring it off the edge and then it self adjusts. That's what I want. Self adjusting. I'm already impressed with this method this guy came up with. It's pretty cool. Faster and easier for me to get this in. And it's real strong. Tested this out with one of the drawers and it worked really nice. So I'm gonna go back to the other three and fix them. I'm excited about the shelf. My popcorn popper, my blender, stuff like that, right? Right. YouTube is sliding in to save the day. Watch how this automatically closes. Oh, oh. sweet. And this one too. Yay! Oh, nice. I want to take it and put it right here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and try to get the first decking of plywood on. What the pattern will be for what the shape of this will be. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll see you next week. This isn't really comfortable. Gary is making a curve. Something like this. I think that's good, Dad. Okay. The grandkids, I want them to be able to safely get underneath here if they're walking like Bryson used to without actually hitting a corner. Okay. Wait, I remember I couldn't go under the countertops anymore. Something knocked into you. You'd think. You'd <laughs> learn from that experience. Clearly not. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, my eyebrows are messed up. Just take a good look at it. <laughs> you got it, Bry? That's all done. Thanks, guys. No uh, problem. No problem. Bye. This is the general shape here of uh, this half. We want to walk through there. Okay, so right about here, and then about here somewhere, I'm gonna have it go straight to here, and then come back out around to here. And we still get another little seating area here. Yep, that's what I wanted. So cool. It looks mwah, amazing. Do this one first. Pretty parallel to everything else. Matter of fact, I have to determine a nice curve for this. So something like that for this end one, which will be nice. And then this nice here will go into this nice curve there. No, that's fine. This is gonna be so beautiful. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking the shape of this, Gary. I think you did a great job. It kind of looks like the original plan that we wanted to do on our drawing. It was kidney bean kind of a shape to it. But now it's even turning out better. I've got to round off some other corners and stuff. It's bigger in life than it was on paper. <laughs> it does feel Isn't very it? large, yes. You could get a whole crowd of people around this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you're going to take these corners, you're going to yep. be rounding them a little more, mm -hmm. and then concrete goes on the top of this, doesn't it? Yeah, I have about an inch and a half, two inches of concrete, okay. two and a quarter inches actually, that fits on top of this. We're going to try to figure out some way to color it or stain it. Yeah, or... if you have any ideas on how to color concrete, uh, point us in the right direction, maybe drop some links off, we can go research. So our kitchen is starting to look and feel more like a kitchen. Yep. 
that wraps up this week. Stay tuned for next week as we continue working on the desks and the cabinets. We did an update to the Team Chip design. Chip's ears have officially come down. So if you'd like to check that out or any of our designs in the shop, the link will be down in the description. Thanks so much for being a part of our family and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Okay, how's my hat look? Wonderful. You from getting it out oh, like this. That's totally going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally going to block me from getting out. That is 100% going to work. <laughs> I'm really I don't have to get my tools. Out. I just have to use my hand. Bree, go get me a tool. <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Hi, little popcorn popper, popper and bread maker. Enjoy your new home. And some coffee. And yesterday's coffee. I waste nothing. <laughs> Jolly G. <laughs> you should put it on your pig. It wouldn't fit on the pig. He doesn't have a neck. He's just a body. <laughs>